Namaste everyone welcome back to channel today we are going to study about major ports of india ports are vital for india's international trade with over 90% of trade by volume and around 70% by value being carried through the maritime transport india has a vast coastline of 7500 kilometers with 13 major ports and over 200 minor ports classification of ports it's divided into two parts a based on administrative control b based on nature of harbor first one based on the administrative control it can be divided into major ports and minor ports major ports is governed by central government under major ports authority act 2021 and minor ports is under the jurisdiction of respective state governments second division is based on nature of harbor it is divided into three types one natural ports it is formed naturally with deep water and shelters example mumbai and kochi ports second is the artificial ports these are man made ports developed through dredging and construction examples of which are chennai and paradeep The third is semi-natural ports, a combination of both. Example, Vishakhapatnam. All right, now let's go on a virtual tour along India's coastline and explore 13 major ports of the country. One, Kandla Port, also known as Deen Dayal Port in the state of Gujarat. It is located in Kutch district. It's a tidal port and also a natural harbor, making it efficient for bulk cargo. This port is India's largest by volume, handling crude oil, petroleum, salt, grains, and chemicals. It serves the landlocked states of North and Northwest India. Next is Mumbai Port, one of the oldest and the most important natural harbors in India. It is well protected and deep, making it ideal for maritime trade. This port handles general cargo, petroleum and chemicals. Strategically, it supports a huge commercial activity of Mumbai. Just across the bay of Mumbai lies another port, JNP, also known as Jawaharlal Nehru Port. It is an artificial port and India's largest container port. handling over half of india's container traffic moving south we reach marmaga port in goa it's a natural harbor port and it's one of the leading ports for iron ore exports especially to the country of japan though its overall cargo has reduced in recent years it remains crucial for mineral trade and tourism further down is new mangalore port in karnataka it's an artificial port primarily handling crude oil fertilizers edible oil and coal It serves the industrial and agricultural economy of Karnataka's hinterland. Next up is Kochi Port in Kerala, a natural port located especially on Arabian Sea. It's famous for handling petroleum products and containers. Kochi is also home to India's first transshipment terminal, making it a key player in international shipping. Heading to the southern trip, we find Tuticorin Port, now called as Vivo Chidambaram Port. It's an artificial all-weather port known for handling coal, salt and fertilizers. It's important for both industrial shipping and for nearby pearl fishing economy. Now, we move up the east coast to Chennai port, one of the oldest artificial ports in India, operational since British era. It's a key hub for automobile exports, containers and general cargo. Just north of Chennai is the Ennor port, officially called Kamaraj port. It's a corporatized port and one of India's newest major ports. It's also artificial handling coal, LNG and clean cargo like automobiles. It is India's first port to be fully owned by a public company. Moving along, we come to Vizag, a semi-natural port. It's is the deepest landlocked port in India. Next is Paradeep Port in Odisha. It's an artificial port and one of the fastest growing in terms of cargo volume. It mainly handles coal and iron ore, supporting the eastern India's mineral exports, especially from Chhattisgarh, Odisha, and Jharkhand. Now we enter West Bengal with Haldia Port, which works in conjunction with Kolkata Port. It's an artificial port handling petroleum products, coal, and chemicals. Due to siltation issue in Kolkata Port, Hal handles the bulk of large vessels. And finally, we end with Kolkata Port, officially renamed as Sham Prasad Mukherjee Port. It is the only major riverine port in India located about 120 kilometers inland on the Hooghly River. Though it faces challenges like silting and shallow draft, it remains vital for trade with Northeast India and neighboring countries like Bangladesh, Bhutan and Nepal. And that's the wrap up of our coastline journey through 13 major ports. Let's not forget ports aren't just for trade. They are crucial for coastal security and defense, blue economy, regional development via Sagar Mala project. employment generation and boost to export import sector how to prepare for upsc one map based prelim questions you should know locations coast and the state it is in two for mains write about 
fourth rate development also about blue economy three from current affairs point of view understand sagar mala bm ghati shakti and port privatization that's all for today's video on major ports of india thank you